The figures provide the starkest evidence yet of how sanctions against North Korea are hurting it economically. Last year, the economy contracted by 4.1 percent. That's on top of a 3.5 percent contraction the year before, at the height of the nuclear and missile testing crisis, when the tougher sanctions were introduced. Compare that with 2016, when the North Korean economy grew at nearly 4 percent, better even than South Korea in the same year. Figures released earlier this month in Seoul also show how sanctions have cut North Korea's trade with its neighbors by nearly half, with a staggering 86 percent drop in exports. Especially affected has been its mining sector, with a complete ban on one of its biggest exports, coal. It shows the extent to which Kim Jong-un's stated ambition to develop his country's economy rather than the military is being frustrated. But state-run media is reporting that Thursday's launch was overseen personally by Kim and that the missiles were a new type of guided weapon, much harder for anti-missile systems to detect and intercept. The North says they were a warning to the warmongers of South Korea, but seem calculated not to jeopardize the chance of a further summit with U.S. President Donald Trump. They haven't done nuclear testing. They really haven't tested missiles other than, you know, smaller ones, uh, the, uh, which is something that lots test. Kim seems to be following the same strategy of using his country's advances in military technology to build pressure for crippling sanctions to eventually be lifted. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.